This episode is actually about one of the most fascinating, probably the most interesting and definitely the most spiritual places we got to experience in Sindh. We had heard so much about the dhamal that takes place in Sevan Sharif at the shrine of Lal Shabazz Kalandar and we were so excited to go there. So we actually ended up going on a Thursday and that is the main day for the dhamal. So you can only imagine the amount of people and emotions that was present in that place on that day. We just started to set up our cameras and we saw these massive drums lined up on the side and just old leather skins strapped on top of them and we could see that we were in for something extremely special. And the moment the drummer hit the first beat, the entire energy of that place just changed. And it was really fascinating for us. Like people started dancing, some people were enjoying to the beats, moving their heads, their head, their bodies to the music. Some were meditating, some were praying and we were like really, really surprised and fascinated. They just seemed to be having the greatest time and I was like, man, are these people like, are they on drugs? What is happening? But that was the best part. It was so pure. people from all walks of life, there were people from different socio-economic backgrounds and nobody cared that who was there, who wasn't. Like we thought we would be judged and we would be the odd ones out, but that was not the case. Like people were so welcoming, they were so warm, they were helping us out, you know, they were helping us looking for a space to sit down, to shoot and it was a great experience. Like we were so happy to be there and we felt so welcomed. So this episode, we want to talk about the story of purity, a story of devotion and covering the legacy Lal Shabazz Kalandar left for us to experience. And that is what we experienced over there. The open-mindedness, the inclusivity, the community that he built around him. And you know, also one main thing that we experienced over there is what music can make you feel. You know, what energy it can produce and what kind of a journey it can take each one of us on. And it's probably a journey that all of you should also experience.